Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch, and this is the project we're making today. This is an Easter card, but it can also be used um, for a Mother's Day card or a birthday card. The stamp set that we're using is Daffodil Daydream, so it has this Mother's Day greeting here. Uh, and then you can use any birthday greeting that you have. Okay, so let me show you the measurements for this project. We've got two pieces of basic white cardstock that measure four by four. We've got more basic white cardstock. So we've got two pieces that were cut out with the Stylish Shapes dies. These dies will be available in the new catalog on May 3rd, 2022, okay? This is scraps for our um, daffodils. And I haven't shown you the inside of the card. I'll show you that in just a minute. Okay, so we've got three pieces of the Pattern Party Designer Series paper, four by four. This is retiring at the end of the month, sadly. Then we have Pool Party that was cut out with the Hippo and Friends dies. That too is um, retiring at the end of the month. And then we have Pool Party 8.5 by 8.5. Okay, so let me show you the inside of the card and then we will start making it. This is a squash card. And I'm just going to untie the ribbon. Now one of the things I didn't add, but you could, would be Wink of Stella. So that would make it really pretty. So it opens up just like this. So you have multiple spots to sign it, or you could also attach a cute little picture right here of someone. So the first piece of basic white cardstock, I'm gonna stamp this daffodil, and then the second one, I'm gonna stamp this here, okay? So I'm gonna get my Memento ink. So here's the image, and Memento. Excuse my voice. Um, if I cough, I'm gonna try to edit that out. I have been so sick it's been this is day six i finally don't have the really awful headache but i am not normal okay so we're using two sets of stamp and blend markers uh so saffron and granny apple green so i'm going to start with the dark so saffron and i'm just going to color the bottom and the lines I may fast forward some of this if it starts to take me too long. Y'all have told me that you like the music anyway, so thank you. The music when I fast forward, I should say. I like it too, it's fun. Now I'm gonna take the dark granny apple green and <laughs> while I'm coloring this, I'm going to tell you, um, I grew up in Tennessee, Middle Tennessee, and we always called daffodils buttercups. And the funny thing is, is that I didn't even know that, that they're technically not buttercups. <laughs> Another flower is a buttercup, but I didn't know that. So my whole life, or as a child, um, we always used to go out in the country and, and pick, and I lived in the country, a 50 acre farm, so it's not like I wasn't already in the country, but we just loved buttercups. So some old rundown farms that had been abandoned always had some really beautiful ones. Okay, so this one's done. Now the next one we're going to take, um, I'm going to use some grid paper because I don't want to stamp on my uh, desk here. I'm using pool party ink this time and this is the image so we're only using one stamp set today this is a little challenging to ink up this whole image because it's a little bit longer than the ink pad now I'm going to stamp off because I want it to be a little bit lighter and then now I'm going to add it as a border over here and it's crooked oh well not the end of the world. It is two-sided paper, so we could try it one more time. But based on how my head is right now, <laughs> it's a miracle if I can do anything today. Oh, pretty good. And then now we're going to set that aside, and we're going to take our scrap paper here. So now we're going to take the Memento ink again, and we want to um, color this in or stamp this image. I'm losing my words here. Okay. 
Okay, there's that one. And then our butterfly. Now, if I remember correctly, this stamps better if I, well, that looked pretty good. Didn't mess that up. And the greeting is supposed to go on this piece here. If it's too small, we might have to um, stamp it a second time and then cut it out with the dies. How'd I do? Looks good, yay. Okay, now let's go ahead and color this flower too. So I, and the butterfly. So I most definitely will probably fast forward this just to move it along. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. It could probably be better, but I'm calling it good. <laughs> so now we need to cut these pieces out and then we are going to emboss this piece with um, the Tasteful Textile Embossing Folder. This one is retiring. So I'm gonna get the stamp and cut and emboss machine so that we can um, knock this out, okay? Okay, so I have a one, two, and a three plate. And then I'm gonna put the Hard stop there, and then we're going to lay this on here, and I'm gonna use some white masking tape, and I'm gonna make sure that I uh, tape it down on the outside of the image, so not on the inside, okay? Because this kind of does rip the paper. Um, my tip is to actually like rub it on your pants and get it a little less sticky, and then it won't rip, okay? Okay, so there's that one. It slid just a tad, but oh well. Now we're gonna cut out the little butterfly here. Uh-oh, there we go. Okay, here's this one. Now we want to emboss this layer. So I'm placing it inside the embossing folder. Okay, this time I'm using a one and a four. And there's that. Okay, let me get this out of the way. So here is all of our images. So now we're ready to um, assemble everything. So we're going to take this eight and a half by eight and a half and we are going to score it on both sides at four and a quarter. So four and a quarter and four and a quarter. So that's how it looks right now. Now we're going to take the paper trimmer and you want to make sure that you hide that cutting blade. Okay, so we're going to slide it out of the way and we're gonna place this with the um, points in the track. And you probably can't see either point because of the way that my camera is positioned, but here's the point here, and then here's the point down here, okay? So we're gonna score from point to point. So just place that in your track and score. Now, if it's off center at all, that means your cardstock did not measure eight and a half by eight and a half. So make sure that you are accurate, okay? What I did was I used my paper trimmer and the scoring tool on my paper trimmer. Sometimes I use my guillotine cutter to cut my card stop to measure eight and a half by eight and a half. But when I made this card earlier, I was off by an eighth of an inch and it's because I used the other trimmer. So cut your paper and score it using the same trimmer. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, oh wait, you know what? I needed that trimmer again, but let's go ahead and um, fold on the score lines and burnish with the bone folder. And then once we do that, we'll go ahead and um, cut our other pieces. Let's 
see. So this is gonna fold in like that and over. And this is the front of your card. And this will fit in a standard envelope. So it's gonna open like that, okay? So let's take um, these two pieces. So one piece will not get cut. These two will get cut. So the same thing, we're just gonna place it on the track, except this time we're cutting instead of scoring. So this tip, this tip, in the track, and cut. Same thing. Okay, so this is gonna go up here, and this one's going down here. I am trying to edit out all the coughs in between steps. If I accidentally do not edit one out, I'm so sorry. I am trying, um, I'm trying to cough during spots where I know I can um, edit it out, but I might accidentally slip a little. I've actually not been this sick in forever. I mean, I really can't even remember. I, I wanna say it's probably been seven or eight years. I don't know. Maybe I should check my blogs, because I normally do tell y'all when I don't feel well. I guess it's safe to say I have the flu. I have tested negative for COVID, so it's it's not that, unless, unless both of my tests are defective, but. Okay, there's that. I have heard from lots of y'all that people are sick. I thought it was allergies when I when I started with the sore throat because allergies are woo, really bad this year. But um, no, it turned into way, way worse. Okay, now there's, there's that. Now for this corner, we're gonna attach this. So same thing, liquid glue. And I am going to be doing designer series paper shares. So if you guys have participated in the past, I'm doing the same thing. Six by six or six by 12. You'll have your options. Um, yeah. So we can't take your money until seven days before the catalog launches. So there's no rush. Um, oh, I did stamp both sides. Which side? The good side. Huh, they both look good, don't they? Um yeah, so the catalog goes live on May 3rd. That's the day I'll be ordering the paper shares. Uh, so your the deadline for you to pay will be like May 1st, but I haven't even announced it yet because like I said, we still have time. Um, yeah. it will. I'll either announce it later this week or the first of next week. Losing five days, six days of my life being sick. Huh. Not, not a happy camper about that. Okay, so this goes like that. We're going to attach the designer series paper here. And I'm sorry I couldn't go live this week. I just cannot talk for 30 minutes straight. There's absolutely no way. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay. I love this. So we need to attach our little butterfly. And what I'm what I'm, the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to take a glue dot and kind of roll it up a little bit and then place it in the middle of the butterfly. Because if I use a dimensional, it kind of pop it up too much. I just wanted a very subtle pop. Does that make sense? So cute. Okay, now let's add our ribbon. Okay, we've got this pool party. What is this? Pool party sheer ribbon. Sorry about that. That was probably pretty loud. Um, and then I'm going to knot it over here on the side. Oh, that's a little too much. Hold on. I don't want to waste my ribbon. There we go. Okay, while I'm tying the ribbon, I'm going to remind you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, most people say that at the beginning or at the end, but subscribe and click on the bell to get notifications. Um, yeah. There's that. So to attach this part, I'm going to use dimensionals and I'm going to place the dimensionals on this part here. 
so that I make sure I get it exactly where I want it because I want people to be able to untie the ribbon <clears throat> and uh, not mess up the card. Does that make sense? Okay, so this is going to go right in the middle, just like that. And then I'm going to attach this with liquid glue. You're going to love the new stylish shapes dies. And then this is going to get added. How did I add this? Oh, just with liquid glue. You could pop it up if you want. But because I'm popping up the greeting, I felt like it didn't need it. Okay. And now for this one, I'm going to place mini dimensionals on the sides here. I'm going to use my take your pick tool. And that's going to go there. And then we just need to add our embellishment. So I'm using the in color uh, jewels and these items are retiring sadly. Let's see, do I have any more little ones? I actually bought myself a few extra packs of these when they announced the, the retiring. Okay, so that wraps up this project. Don't forget to print your free PDF on my website and to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much, have a great day.